Hey Alex, what's up? Nothing, just headed the blue bus. Oh, you've got a class at Haverford? Yeah, I got lottery out of the ones I wanted to take here. Oh, I hate when that happens. What class is it? Um, something like perspectives of the self and the problem with perspective. Doesn't Nerman teach that? Um, yeah, I think so. Why, what's wrong with her? Him. You'll see. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Good luck. Um, hi, sorry, I have like class in five minutes. I'm really lost. I'm, I'm a freshman at Bryn Mawr, so I don't really know my way around. Um, do you know where Jest 101 is? Um, Jest, like, um, Jest? Oh, okay, okay. So you're gonna wanna follow the walkway. You're gonna go past three trees. There's gonna be a library on your right. Don't go in the library. Take a left another 250 feet, about 30 meters, and then you're gonna to wanna to turn left again. It's gonna be a small, tiny white building. You can't miss it. Okay. I'm really sorry I'm late. I, I'm a Bryn Mawr student. I just got, I got lost. I thought it was in Guest 101. Oh, no, no. You're, you're right on time. To make an example, tardiness is unacceptable. We don't run on Bryn Mawr time. Please take a seat. All right, my name is Professor Bo Nerman. You guys can call me Bo, except for you. You can call me Mr. Nerman or Sir. I went to a little school. You guys might have heard of it. It's called Harvard. Uh, I've been teaching here for about six years so far. Usually we cap out at about 35. I'd say right now we're at about, about eight. So let's just go into it and take roll, all right? Park Tanner Paisley. Ethan. Here. Alex. Here. Grace. Uh, here, but it's actually Julia and never Julie. Chris Marcos. Yeah, my name's Chris, but uh, you can call me Swain. Coyote? Yeah. Coyote, is that your real name? Uh, as far as I know, yeah. All right. Farai Avjan? Fahri Avjan. Fahri Avjan? Fahri Avjan. Fahri, we're just going to go with F for now, if that's all right. Uh, Kyle? All right, well, Coyote, looks like you and the rest of the class are going to be meeting here with me once a week, three-hour lecture, 15-minute break in between. Also, super open-ended final project coming up at the end of the semester. I'm always a little curious to see what you guys think I want. Like, what does your project mean about me? See, I like to think you little guys teach me, not the other way around. No, I'm just kidding. I just don't like grading your papers. Wait, wait what do you mean no papers? Like, um... What about our grades? Oh, uh, that project? Yeah, that's worth 100% of your grade. What? We yeah. have one grade all semester? Yeah, last time I checked, one project, one semester, 100% of your grade. All right, enough, guys. You really think any of this matters? Like, well, if you got a D in a philosophy class, it's going to hinder your ability to get a job in the future? All right, let's move on to some content, OK? Hello, Sophie. One, oh, one. 
perspectives of the self and the problems with perspective. The self. Let's talk about the self. Who the self is. Myself, herself, himself, selfie. See, when you think about it, everything I say and I do is from my perspective and it's an extension of myself. But the only way we can know who myself is, is by knowing who the self is not. Um, not, not myself. Let me put it to you this way. When we're understanding ourselves, do we have someone hold a mirror up to us, to ourselves? Or do we paint a picture for ourselves, of ourself? Yeah, can you say your name again for the class? It's, a, uh, it's Park Tanner Paisley. Um, I think it's a really excellent, really, really interesting question. Trying to think of how to word this. It's like, like imagine a, a spinning frisbee disc, but in the center of the disc is kind of the logos of modern contemporary life, and it's just Derrida going around saying why and why, and why. And then over here, over here we have a monkey. Cut to the chase, Park. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, fine. It's the uh, it's the first one. It's it's the mirror thing. Yeah, let's get a nice dialogue going. Well, I'll have to disagree, um, respectfully, but uh, it's the other one. The portrait? Yeah. Wrong. Let's say that you were born with green-tinted glasses and you saw the whole world as green. Does that mean that the world is actually green? How can we understand what we're seeing if we first don't understand how we're seeing it? I mean, okay, hang on. Um, uh, does anybody have a goldfish here? What's your name again? Swin. What's your goldfish's name? Um, we got Captain D and Beth. Does Captain D see the same world that we do? Does Beth know that she's in a fishbowl? Beth's a little boy fish. You know what? If I was to take Captain D in his fishbowl, launch that fishbowl up into space, and he was just floating around out there, would he see the same world that he did when he was in that fishbowl? Or would he know that he's in space? Or would he just think he was floating around in a fishbowl? Damn it. Students, students, students. <laughs> Some heavy shit we're dealing with here. Identity and shit? Woo! This material is heavy. That's why it's so important to laugh. <laughs> In fact, I find the subject of laughter and hilarity so important that I wrote a song about it. Don't know if you kids have heard of DJ B.O. That shit stinks. But yeah, I'm pretty awesome. And if you guys want to check out my new album, Bitches Be Like Triple Dot, shit leaked in late August, you can get it on Napster. Wow, man. It sounds like you've really got some stuff to work through. I'm not super famous yet, but it's not like I want to be on the radio with Justin Cleaver anyway. I hear you, Professor. As the, uh, as the Vice Chancellor of the Shits Committee here on campus, we're always bringing in bands that are grappling with the same exact kind of tensions. Not sure it's a tension, but I appreciate the comment. Oh, no, I, I, think, I think I feel where you're coming from, man. I'm just, just last week we brought in Gary and the Oldmans, and they, they've been struggling with the Baltimore radio scene, trying to get on, but stay off the web and stay off the airwaves. I mean, again, kind of it comes back to Derrida yeah, on the edge I of this disc. That. I appreciate the comment, but I think we're dealing with two separate animals here. Professor, um, will we be graded on this, um, oh God, um, females be similar to dot, dot, dot? What's all this shit about grades? Yeah, if you don't mind me asking, what exactly is this bitches be like business all about? Because to me, it sounds like it's reinforcing the patriarchy and that kind of misogyny just should not be tolerated in today's society in which women have so much to contend with in today's society. And what's more is it seems really heteronormative to me. It's really wrong for you to assume that your audience is made up of completely heterosexual listeners. Gloria Steinem taught me that every woman... Excuse me? Shut up. Oh my God, shut up. 
I don't even know what we're talking about anymore, but I can't listen to any more of this right now, okay? On that note, I think we're going to need a 15-minute break. If anybody wants some DJBO merch, my Mini Cooper's parked out back in the south lot. Okay, yeah, I'll try to make it. 